Pilbara is the hottest town in Australia. It is also in the Shire of East Pilbara, which is the largest shire in the world. And I think they're famous for their rocks, which is made up of jasper apparently, which is a rock apparently. Gap. We were gonna stay here for uh, how many days? Two, three days? Yeah, or something. Three or four days, get work three done, four days. explore. Um, but the wind is sort of throwing a bit of a spanner in the works because it is gusty. Yeah. It's super gusty. So we are going to pack up and do another six hour drive, which we did yesterday as well. Up All the way Brew. to Broome. Yeah. Fun days. Anyway, here we go. Tips for traveling around Australia always make sure that you have Jerry full of fuel so that you save on having to put in very expensive for the moment. and also when you're doing a more remote parts of Australia fuel stations are actually quite far apart so you actually need jerrys to get from one station to the next so I recommend at least two jerrys for anyone traveling around Australia it depends how big the fuel tank is yeah I reckon a better saying would be at least 800 kilometers of travel there you go 800 kilometers of travel whatever your fuel position is in regards to that Finally made it to James Price Point after yeah a week that didn't start too well. We were hoping to stay at Coppins Gap for a few days and get some work done and then head towards Broome, but the wind was just out of this world. So drove down or drove up um, to James Price Point just above Broome, spending a few days here, getting some work done firstly and foremostly, and then yeah we might try some fishing. Back to the usual. We're on a hunt for some dinosaur footprints here at James Price Point this morning. We've got the coordinates in our map. We're hoping the tide's low enough so Jojo can see some footprints. On the hunt for more dinosaur footprints. Is that one? That just looks <laughs> like a hole. <laughs> done a bit of a wheel alignment on the trailer and on the Pajero. So I'm sitting on the side of the road waiting for JJ to pick me up so we can get the new wheel loaded in and off we go. Getting some books off at the market. Got ourselves a new book.
So there are two jetties in Broome and I asked Annika to take us to a good jetty. And this is the jetty that she picked. <laughs> That'll be a quick walk to the end. <laughs> Just north of Cable Beach and we were looking at them coming in. And we're going, surely there must be some event. Maybe this is all the people taking camel rides. But there's so many cars. There's like thousands of well, not thousands, hundreds of cars. Like, as far as you can see our cars, you can't even see the end of the line of cars. So Annika walked over to one of the cars that were driving by, who was coming out of the pile of cars, and she's asking them, what's the event? And they said, no, this is just a, a normal day in room. Like, it's like this every day. The camel rides, right? They start at the start line of the cars. So when you go on your camel ride, you, you just go on your camel past all the cars. Like, what's scenic about that? You can, you can probably see over the top of the roofs of the cars, but it really kills the You can see a lot experience. of them coming in now on their camels. Past the cars. The back Not there. Not even like you, your camel and the beach. It's you, your camel, a bunch of cars, and then a little bit of the beach. Warning to all of you, think of booking camel rides in Broome, thinking you'll get a nice beach and sunset to yourself. That's not the case. It will be you, your camel, and a lot of cars. <laughs> That's the week, guys. We spend a week up in Broome um, at Game Price Point for most of it, and then a day or two just in Broome exploring and seeing all the little snippets. It's a little all over the place, but yep. yeah. Yeah, we uh, did the car uh, wheel alignment as well in rotation and the trailer wheel alignment, so that's all good. New spare wheel for the trailer, happy days. Mm. Um, yeah, so I reckon we're ready to tackle the gib. I mean, we're on the gib now, but that's You'll a little that snippet next for next week. Yeah, yeah. Loving it so far, but. That's all you need to know. Um, Brim, really nice tourist destination. Um, that's what it is. It is a tourist destination. Yes, definitely. Um, heaps of people there. So busy. It felt like we were back in the city. Um, there's some overpriced things, such as the camel rides and that kind of thing. Like, it's all hyped up on social media, but the reality isn't like it. Um, but also, just like the markets and things are really nice, and the sunset yeah. atmosphere is really nice yeah. um, at that foreshore. So, it does have a nice little weekend vibe. Um, but I guess just yeah. do your research before you book anything. Yeah, I would say that Broome is probably, if you want to get the most out of it, you're going to want to spend a lot of money there. Mm. There's no like in between where you can sort of do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and not spend too much. It's not worth staying at the caravan parks. Like then, mm, they're also ridiculously expensive really in this expensive. season. They're like $80 a night, which is and it's not crazy. Worth it. um, yeah. So yeah, if you really, I think if you wanted to get the full blown Broome experience, you'd mm. want to book a resort because the resort looks look really nice there. Mm. Um, but yeah, obviously, you'd have to expect to spend a bit of money. Yeah, full driving-wise, guys, James Price Point, beautiful scenery, as you'd see. Um, free camping. I guess most people there just kind of hang out for the week and watch the sunsets and have a few drinks. Um, but it's a nice place just to kind of stop mm. by. So yeah, head up and up towards the coast is always a good idea if you've got a four-wheel drive. Yes, and we unfortunately missed out on the uh, dinosaur footprints. There's yes. the tide. It's currently sort of going into full moon, so the tide didn't drop below one meter. And to see the footprints, then the tide needs to be below one meter because you need to go way, way out down below yeah. to the rocks. Yeah, so I think on the website say minimum is two point six for most sites, but some of the really good ones are one meter. We were at three point five meters for yeah. like tide, so we missed all of it. Um, but if you time it right, you can see it, which is pretty yeah. cool. Um, so go have a look. There's plenty of um, information on the website or on Wiki Camps. They've got some different points as well. Yep, cool. enjoy. Next week's again. Looking forward to it.